Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244. Welcome to the trigger. It says Looser Tiger Arcade. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Every pronunciation that I've seen on the internet pronounces it completely different, so I'm just going to go with that. So, this is the Looser Tiger Arcade. I'm going to go through all three levels on Assassin. Uh, I'm going to do it with default equipment, default loadout. The optional objective for this one, for the complication, is no disguise changes. And because we're using the default loadout, it's going to be suit only for every method. Level 1, we are going to start in the Southern Farm start location, and we're going to have to bring along a pistol, a fibre wire, and a coin. From the very start, skip the opening panning shot, you're going to need to save as much time as possible. Run straight to this location, jump through the window, stand back up, and carry on running through these, uh, this field right here. Just carry on running in the same direction as where I'm going. It's important to do this as quick as you can, because this is very tricky doing it sight assassin suit only with just the default equipment. So we have to just follow what we can do. So just keep uh, sticking to the right and then dip into the right once you can, can. Once you're in these bushes and someone starts detecting you, just go ahead and crouch running for the rest of the way. Stay in the grass. Stay undetected. Once you get to this location here, we're just going to jump over, over, the, over the apricots. Stay in the little bushes here. And then we can stand up and run the rest of the way. We want to get to these crates right here. You want to press your body against the crate and then subdue them over the crate just as that. You need to do this relatively quickly. So the pressing against the body against the crate button is the circle if you're on uh, PS5 or PS4. And it will be uh, B if you're on Xbox. Next, we're going to grab the gun and put it away as well after, after we hit the body. And then we're going to, need to press our body against these crates again and lean out as much as we can uh, and press the subdue button to subdue... Uh, Ezra Burke from around the corner. Once we've done that, we're going to shoot out the camera and pick up all the stuff that he drops on the floor. Next, we're going to get rid of the SMG. We don't need that, don't need that anymore. There we go. And then we're going to again press our body against this uh, this crate right here. There's a guard that comes up the stairs, so we just have to wait for him uh, to come up the stairs and turn around. Once he does that, we can vault over and carry on going down the stairs and unlock the door with the key that we just picked up. Now we're in the house, we're halfway there. So once we're up in here, we're going to need to climb up the stairs, stay to the left. Watch out for anyone that's in the kitchen, and then head on upstairs. Use your instinct to find out where that, uh, that guy with the, the beret is hanging around, the commander guy. And look at these hackers. We need to make sure, make sure the hackers are on. They're in this position right here. This hacker right, right in front of me needs to be hacking the laptop fiddling around the laptop that we're, we're going to work on in a little bit. And once he's in this location, we can go up to him and subdue him. Again, you need to do this relatively quickly, and then sub then drag his body around here in this position here. Next, the target should be standing up at this point, and the, uh, the guard is going to head on downstairs. So the only person that's in your way now is this hacker right in front of us. So we're going to wait for this hacker to move first, and then we're going to subdue the hacker, hide his body, and then we're going to take out the target. So, just be patient. You've got more time than you think you do. So don't worry about it. So, go ahead and subdue him. And again, hide his body because the guard will come back up the stairs after the target has been taken care of. So, leave the body there. Then we can go straight to the balcony where he is. Be careful of anyone looking your direction before you do this. And then go ahead and push him off the ledge. There's an accident kill for you. Body instantly found. Don't worry about it. It's an accident kill. It doesn't affect your silent assassin rating. Next we're going to hack this laptop to complete the other objective. All we've got to do now is just wait for this guard to come back up the stairs. And then get past him and head straight to the exit. You can be a little bit more patient than I am in this, but it's entirely up to you what you want to do, as long as you don't get spotted by this guard. He turns around at this point, and uh, I don't have the patience for this, so I just went straight down the stairs. Now, you can wait patiently for him to walk away, but it's up to you like, the way you want to tackle that. Just make sure you pick your moment. Again, we're going to come through this uh, room here. There's going to be one guard outside. That's the guard that we left outside. I'm going to stay in this location for now and wait for him to turn around. There's a hacker to your right that's coming out of the house at the moment. Needs your opportunity to take your opportunity as soon as you got it. Stay crouched as you come down here and through this gate. Stay to the right of the fence and then head straight to the exit right here. So that's it. Once you come through the gate, 
It is a silent assassin for level one. Silent assassin suit only at that. With default equipment. Is this the stealthiest elusive target arcade there is? I'm not so sure. But it was a terrible map and a terrible level, so. Let's move on to level two, but it doesn't get much better. Level two, we have the Ascensionist in Dubai, and she is not very good either. It limits, really limits your options here. Uh, we're going to have to just bring the fireball wire and the coins. The coins are going to be the most important thing here. We're not even going to bother using the fireball wire. From the very start, we have to get frisked, and that's the reason why I don't, I don't bring a pistol because you can't get through the frisk zone uh, with a weapon on you. So we're just going to make sure that we unequip it in our uh, item selection screen before we come and start the mission. And we've just basically just got coins on us, and we're going to go and get some more as well. There's some at the bar. There's about four coins in the bar. Go ahead and grab all of them. I'm going to use all of them to our advantage. Grab them all. Who needs equipment when you have coins? Even though coins are a part of our equipment. It's the best item in the game. So, once you've got these coins, we're going to head on all these stairs and use one to our advantage. So, we're going to be outside the security room. We're just going to chuck a coin in front of those two guards there just to get them to turn around and face it so we can pass through the security room. So, as soon as they turn, run straight through the room. Come through this door and jump and vault over this balcony and stay here on the stairs. This guard right in front of us, we are going to wait for him to turn around. And we need to basically stealth past him. He is uh, an obstacle in our way, but we are going to be patient for this one. So momentarily he turns around, there we go. He walks to the other side, so we're going to stay to the right. Stay behind these crates and cages. And again, we're going to have to wait for him again to move. So it's all about patience, this part. So once he starts walking away, we can vault over the crates. Or the boxes, I should say. Close the door behind you as you come through here and press your body against the wall. There'll be a guard coming towards you at this point, but he will only stay there for a few seconds and he turns back around and walks down the corridor. There's a crowbar right in front of you as soon as he walks away go ahead and grab that as quick as you can and then move away hide behind these crates because this technician turns around once he starts crouching down we can climb this ladder once you're up here we're going to wait for the guard to come through this area before we vault up once we've vaulted up we're going to go into this room the security room right here Go grab that penthouse key card. Don't need it, but we'll go grab it anyway. And now we're just going to wait for that penthouse guard to come back in. We're going to do a few knockouts in this area. That's what happens when you don't have many options for this target. So we're going to subdue him from around the corner. Put his body in the nearby locker. Make sure you grab his rifle as well. Once you've done that, take out your coin again and throw the coin in the corner just there. That's going to distract the other guard in the corridor. And we're just going to knock him out with a crowbar. If his back is not to you, just wait for him to pick the coin back up and walk away. That will give you an opportunity to, to smack him over the head. So just in case that this doesn't go perfectly for you. Retrieve the coin and his gun, and then just dump him over the ledge. As long as it says dump, it's not going to eliminate him. If it says dump eliminate, then you know it's going to kill him, so just be careful with that. So dump him over the left, not the right. Next, we're just going to press our body against this wall right here, and wait for this guard to come towards us. Again, with the same situation, we're going to do a subdue from around the corner. If the prompt doesn't come up, just edge out a little bit more, and you'll get the prompt for you. But I usually just, just spam that subdue button. I can see that that's what I just did there. I edged out a little bit. Just to give myself a little bit of extra space so I can uh, subdue him. Next we're going to leave his body there after picking up his rifle. And we're going to knock out this, uh, this janitor in here. Hide his body in the locker. Once you've hidden his body, we're going to go back outside and grab the other guard and hide his body as well. We're also dropping the rifle in that room as well, because we just want to hide that gun and get it out of the way. Mm 
Now at this point, we're going to use our, all our coins to our advantage. So we're just going to place a coin here and place a coin about a square width apart. Just be careful of the camera that's in the corridor as well. You might want to just shoot that out with the SMG that you've got. It's suppressed, so you don't have to worry about it being too loud. You don't need this many coins, but it's always best to give yourself as much space as possible. It's a breadcrumb trail trap. And what's going to happen is she's going to see a coin and she's going to go, oh, a coin, oh, a coin. And she's going to carry on going until she, we've got a clear shot of her. So the person that's following her is uh, not an enforcer. So all you've got to do really is make sure that you you can get behind him, knock him out, and then you can take her out straight after that. So this is how we're going to take out our target. Again, it's very uh, elaborate. But at the end of the day, when we're doing a silent assassin suit, only this target is already very uh, bland and very limited in terms of opportunities. So unfortunately, this is the way we've got to do it if we have no equipment and no disguise changes. So it's going to hide behind this corner with our crowbar in hand. She'll see the first coin and she'll keep picking up each coin one by one. And eventually you'll be able to get behind uh, the person that's following her. Okay. You can knock him out that first, and then take her out. Be careful. She has an eye for faces. Oh, goody. So there he is. So he's seeing the coins as well, but she's reacting before him. Weird. We're gonna knock him out. Beautiful. Knock her out. We're gonna drag her body away from that balcony as well, because uh, there's some NPCs there that can possibly see her body. So that's why we dragged her away. Make sure you snap her neck and not his as well. That would be bad. Next, once you've done that, we're going to head to an exit. So we're going to knock that woman out here. Retrieve the crowbar. There's a guard here blocking the door. There's a guard to the right, guard on the right door to the right as well. This is a trespassing zone right in front of us. We're going to wait for this guard to walk away. And we're just going to walk straight out of the building. Hop over this ledge here that's just directly opposite the security room. And you'll be able to slide down this vine all the way here, all the way down the bottom. Once you've done that, we're going to take the stairs all the way down, back to where we started. Do we take the elevator exit? And there we go. Silent assassin suit only with the default equipment. Done. So, if you were new to the game and you were struggling this one, hopefully this uh, this guide helps you out for this one. So now the hard levels are out of the way, we can move on to the very easy final level. Level 3, we have the Identity Thief that's in uh, Paris. He's very, very simple, very straightforward, this one. You can't go wrong. Unless you uh, take yourself Welcome out. Paris, so you bring you all the default the equipment like we usually do. And we're going to head straight to the Palace Gardens. So if you don't know where that is, just go ahead and follow where I'm going on the, on the video. This represents your best opportunity to acquire so what we're essentially going to do is electrocute him. Uh, it's always the go-to method for this particular target because he walks directly through the garden area and it gives you the perfect opportunity for it. Minimal risk. So outside there's going to be a puddle on the floor, very obvious. And there's going to be like a, a plug socket. So what you want to do is uh, drop a coin in the middle of the puddle. So make sure you drop the coin first and then shoot that socket there. Just make sure you don't get spotted as you're shooting it. If you do get spotted as you, sh as you shot it, just restart the mission. Just make sure you do not walk in that puddle as it's electrified. Now, if the NPC crowd is reacting like this as well, don't worry, don't be alarmed. It just means that you can't take advantage of the crowd blend uh, mechanic, which is what we wanted to do. We wanted to take advantage of the, cr the crowd blending here because there's a... An NPC enforcer right in front of us, so we wanted to just uh, use the crowd blend option, but because the crowd's all spread out like this, and I don't know, it's weird AI, but they didn't actually see you shoot anything, so don't worry about it. They're fake NPCs, as, they, as we call them. So here's your target, very obvious. Uh, you look like Ric Flair. He's going to be uh, going outside momentarily to get a clearer signal, or clearer sound on his phone and then what's going to happen is uh, he's going to see the coin in the puddle and he's going to go oh a coin and he's going to go over and he's going to electrocute it 
Now what we don't want to happen is his female friend to follow him and get electrocuted as well. So what we're going to do, just to doubly make sure that she doesn't see the coin first, we're going to bump into her a little bit later on to make sure that she doesn't go over and see it. Because that would be bad. So he's heading on outside now. Again, just be uh, just be wary of that enforcer around the door. So we can use the crowd blend here now. So while we're outside, we're going to bump into her. Just give it a bit of a bump. There we go. As he comes down the stairs, he's going to see the coin. What? Question mark. Investigate. Now this is an electrocution accident kill, and the body is instantly found. If you're new to the game, this is, does not affect your Silent Assassin rating. You'll still get a Silent Assassin through accidents and poison kills, as long as, long as uh, you don't move the bodies afterwards. But yeah, accident kills and poison kills are a very powerful tool in this game. And that's the reason why we use them. But once you've done that, we can now head straight to an exit. And it's job done for this particular Elusive Target Arcade Contract. Level 3, very easy. The other two, a little bit frustrating to work out. But we got there in the end. And uh, hopefully, throughout all three levels, this guide has helped you. Still might be tricky in some areas, but it is what it is when it comes to the default loadout methods. And when you're restricted with new disguise changes, which what's... I mean, this game is a social stealth game, and the, when you can't use that uh, disguise mechanic, it's a little bit annoying, but uh, it is what it is. Silent Assassin there. And there we go. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video for let, and let me know how you feel about this particular Lucid Tiger IK contract. Are you a fan of these added complications? I don't think they're very good, so... I don't think we've had a decent one for a while now. But that's my, just my thoughts. So a big shout out to Mark Davis, Paul at Home, Bedry, Andrew Phillips, Wondering Wendy, and Constantine Muller from coming top tier Psycho Assassin members of the channel. I really do appreciate that as well. Thank you very much for all the support recently. Again, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next video. Cheers.